Hey, today we're gonna take a look at the A plus for the core one, core two for the 220,001,002. This is an awesome exam cram book. I'm gonna encourage you to open it to page 129. Everything from here and prior to this is all the core one. Everything at page 129 or after that, I mean. So like at the, anything beyond page 129 is core two. Anything before it is core one. So take that and put it in your mind. So you essentially only have like half of this book to look at for core one, which makes it really nice. Um, so definitely don't like go flipping through it in random directions. If you're gonna take the A plus and you're gonna do the, the core one exam, which makes the most sense to, to go in that order first, probably then go to page 129 and then, you know, just like mark this as like, this is all that I need to go through and know. Uh, keep in mind too that it just gives you some random good tips here and there about like maybe eating breakfast and showing up early for the exam. But aside from that, the, the main idea behind all of it is just that the exam itself is going to cover a, a lot of hardware, a lot of hardware and network troubleshooting. Uh, take note of, uh, you know, focusing on troubleshooting areas and also know you're going to have to do some stuff on mobile devices networking along with virtualization and cloud computing. So knowing that, let's uh, let's just dive in and, and show an example of how this works. So here's kind of all the explanation answer areas. So 76 says, this is an example of software as a service. Now, ideally how this would work is we would have gone to question 76 first, we would have looked into it, and then we would go back there. But we're gonna go over to the uh, answer quick check. So here's the quick answer, uh, quick check answer key. So looking at 76, we see the answer is A. Then if we flip over a page and look at the question 76, it asks, your end users work with a web-based calendar app. Which of the following are they using? The answer was A, it was software as a service which we, we kind of just went through this backwards, but essentially that's how you do it. I would more than likely, I would use a pencil and go through all these and mark it and then keep, uh, you know, just keep going over the, the quick check answer keys. And as long as you keep going through all these and you answer all the questions and then you do the answer checks, you're you're doing pretty solid. So that's, that's just how you do this. Uh, it's a, a really good thing to, to work through. And if you complement this with some some different studying material you're you're pretty solid i think so just make sure you're getting all the questions right in here and you understand them the concepts and then also maybe do a little bit of hands-on practicing like labs if if you can get your hands on some labs but bam that's it you get your a plus cert and do it up i i got my security plus i am kind of doing some weird roundabout backwards work where i'm doing a plus network plus project plus with the security plus, and then I am going to dive into some offensive security certifications because really honestly, I have a lot of background, like, you know, street smarts in terms of cybersecurity. I'm just kind of a, just sharpening, I guess, the edges. So that's it. Peace.